All right, so we're zooming through fairly swiftly here. We've got our user list displaying appropriately, and the next step is for the user to be able to tap on any of these and send them an image. So of course we're going to want to import the image from the media store in the same way that we did before. So let's start by setting up the onclick method for the list view. So we want an on item click listener. New on item click listener. And then if you remember, we take an intent I and create a new, not a legal access error, but intent. Which is going to be an intent dot action pick because we're picking from the media store and we want media store dot images dot media dot external content URI. And then we're going to start activity for result. Now I'm going to be slightly cheeky here. And I'm going to start our intent. And remember, we can pass a number to the intent. And we're going to need to know who the image should be sent to. And we can get that from the position. So I'm going to send the position directly to the image picker intent. And then we'll be able to get that back and upload the image to the right person. OK. So now we need to write our code that we want to run when the image picker is complete. And you may remember that's on activity result. So that second one there. So we've got our data, our result code and our request code. And our request code is going to be the same as our position in the table or in the array list. So let's do a check to make sure that the result code is equal to OK and also that we've got some data. OK, then we'll create our URI to be able to get our image. So we'll call this selected image. And this is going to be data.get data. So we're going to get the data from the intent that was passed back to us by the image picker. And then we're going to attempt to create a bitmap image from the selected image. And we get that from media store dot images dot media dot get bitmap and we get it from our content resolver and it's the selected image so the selected image is essentially a, a link to where the image is stored on the device and this allows us to resolve that content so essentially bring it in and in our case convert it to a bitmap that might fail, of course, so we'll surround it with try and catch. Now, because I'm feeling confident, I'm going to attempt to upload it to pass straight away. So we're going to do that as a file. And we'll start off with the basic code for saving objects. There we go. So I'm going to call this an image. And it can be a new pass object with a class of image. And then we want to put a few bits of information. So we want the sender username. That's important. And that's our current user's username. So pass user.getCurrentUser. 
app.get username. We also want the recipient username, which is going to be in usernames up here, and it's going to be the position that we passed to it, which we get from this request code. So usernames.get and then request code. Lovely. And then we want the image itself. So I'll actually write the code for that up here. So you may remember we need to convert it from a bitmap into a byte array. And we do that by first creating a byte array output stream, which I'll call stream, which is a new byte array output stream. Then we take our bitmap and we compress it and we decide what we want the format to be. I normally go for PNG. Quality, we'll keep the quality at 100% and then we quote the stream. So this will convert the bitmap into a byte array using the byte array output stream. We then need to create a byte array to store that. And we just take the stream and convert it to a byte array. So that's the process that we've seen before from taking it to, from a bitmap into a byte array. We then need to convert it from a byte array to a pass file. I'll call file. And that's going to be a new pass file, which we'll just call image.png. And we're going to get it from the byte array. Great. So then we just put that in our pass object. So I'll call it image and it's file. There we go. So now we've saved everything that we are going to need. Oops, it's image. But I think we should have a callback here that just checks to see if E is null. And with a double equals, if it is, we'll send a toast. say image sent successfully with length long and then we show it and if it's not that means there's been a problem so I'll just say image could not be sent please try again Okay, so that was a big chunk of code in one go. Always nerve wracking when you run that and want to see if it works, but I'm fairly confident that we've done everything correctly. So let's find out. Okay, so let's try sending an image to Kirsten. Oh, we've got no media here. So let's quickly try and save. Let's start with the Google logo. So it's save image. There we go, it's starting the download there. So we could send the Google logo, but that's a little bit boring. I'm instead going to send an image that I know Kirsty will like. An image of a baby hedgehog. Wonderful. Okay, so let's run the app again. And select our baby hedgehog. And then we've got an error. Okay, it was all too good to be true. Let's 
have a look and debug that. So a problem, aha, we didn't put the permission in. Well, I say we, I can't really blame you. Here we go. Have we got the SD card there? External storage. There we go. All right, let's try that again. Okay, so Kirsten, baby hedgehog, back and image sent successfully. Wonderful. So, of course, let's do just a quick check on pass. Yep, we've got our image and it has the recipient username, send a username, and if we look at that lovely baby hedgehog, it is the image that we wanted to send. Wonderful. She'll be very pleased with that, I'm sure. Okay, so now all that remains is to allow users to view images that have been sent to them. And the way we're going to do that is to pop up the image on top of the user's user list right here. And we'll see how to do that in the next video.